We never want you to be on the wrong end of data privacy because of us. And so we take that responsibility incredibly seriously. Hi, I'm Henry Shuck. I'm the founder and CEO of Zoom Info. Privacy regulations started coming up across the world and across the country. I read the regulations. I brought in our general counsel and our privacy teams, and we tried to understand not only how it affect us, but also how it would affect our customers. And about a year before the GDPR rolled out, we implemented a notice and choice program for all of the people in the European Union whose information we had collected. And what that meant was that we went out to everybody whose information we collected and gave them notice that we had collected their information and then an opportunity to have that information updated, changed, or removed from our platform. We built a privacy center where those data subjects could go, find and claim their profile, or ask for that information to be removed from our platform. And that was a really great start for us. And what it enabled us to do was go have hundreds of conversations with large multinational companies' privacy and compliance teams about what we were doing to make our data and make our platform GDPR compliant. And once we got all of those privacy and compliance professionals confident with how we were looking at these privacy issues, we started looking for the next frontier from a privacy perspective. What else could we be doing? And since we were only looking at Europe, we started focusing our attention on California. As the CCPA came into effect, we started thinking about the opportunity to take that notice and choice program that we had built for Europe and then apply it to data subjects in California. And so at the end of Q4 in 2019 and into this month in January, we went out and we gave every California resident who we had collected information on, notice that we had collected their information, opportunity to have that information updated or changed, and then ultimately the opportunity to have that re information removed from our platform. This puts us far ahead of any competitor in this space around data privacy. No one in our industry has a team of data privacy professionals and, and corporate counsels who are focused on this issue. And again, not just for us, but for our customers. In Q1 of this year, we will go out and give notice to everybody whose information we've collected and give everybody that same opportunity we gave California residents and European residents. And by the way, that is not required by any regulation in the country or the world. We are doing that to be far ahead on the data privacy spectrum. Ultimately, when you think about the type of personal information we collect, it is the least sensitive type of information. It's the information that exists on a business card and simply a business card. And it's not just me who thinks that. If you go look at the privacy law that was written in Canada called the Pepita, they specifically carve out business contact information as non-sensitive information. And not just Canada, but the state of Washington's law, the state of Nevada's law, the New York law, and even the draft federal legislation at the federal level specifically carves out business contact information as non-sensitive information. So on the spectrum of sensitive personal information that's collected, we believe that the information that we collect is the least sensitive type of that information. But we weren't using that as an excuse to not go all the way on data privacy. And as you've seen with the privacy center we've built, with the notice and choice program that we've implemented across the world, this is a central issue for us, it is a central issue for our customers, and will continue to be on the forefront of data privacy.